All right, everyone. This is a discussion video about something particular that I kind of knows for a while, but I haven't really processed through it. So here, just a little backstory on this game. When I first got the game, I originally got it for the 360. The reason why it was usually multi-platform games, most for the most part, runs better on the 360. Plus, you know, when I had the 360, I had the gold subscriptions. Like, you know, let me just get the 360 version, and because you know, almost always it runs better on the 360. Then, then my gold subscription expired, and it's like, you know what? I don't really feel like spending more money on a gold subscription. So I stopped paying for it. I put the system up, sold it off, and I went and picked up the Wii U version because, you know, around that time, I picked up a Wii U. And it's like, you know what? Let me get it for a next-gen console. It'll probably look better, run better. And for the most part, this game actually does run better. It looks better. It runs better. And there, there haven't really been any serious hiccups for the most part. So, but here's the problem. The reason why I got the PS3 version is because there are absolutely no DLC for the Wii U version. And what really pisses me off about this, if you look at the back of the package on both of these, if I had the 360 version, I would be showing that too. But... The PS3 version, if it, my phone was to focus on here, you can kind of see it. It says add-on content right there. So there's add-on content, DLC. You go over here under the network features. If, again, my camera wants to focus, it's going to say add-on content. So if both, if both platforms are advertising as add-on content, and yet the Wii U version doesn't have add-on content, is that false advertisement? To the average consumer, looking at both platforms, or you know, if they have multiple systems, and it's like, you know what, I, ha I just got a Wii U. Let me, let me, I want the Wii U to be my primary system for multi-platform games games things like that so they pick up black ops 2 for the wii u thinking oh sweet there's add-on content so i can be able to get all the dlc that comes out for the other systems when they put it in they realize there's no add-on content there's no dlc no nothing so was that customer gypped into buying the wii u version if the person didn't do any research and they come to find out after the fact, because let's just face it, at least here in the U.S., I don't know how it is in other countries, but at least here in the U.S., when you buy a game new, once you open the package, you cannot return that software. The only thing you can do is just do an even exchange for the exact same game only because if there's something wrong with the actual game that you bought. But if to say that it doesn't have this thing, it's like, well, I mean, if it plays, you know, there's not much we can do. So is Activision to blame for advertising add-on content? I'm not a lawyer or anything, but it just seems kind of wrong to advertise something that's not in the game. On the retail package. Okay. If I grab another Wii U title. So, uh, one of the games I have. Which is uh, Injustice Gods Among Us. That has all the DLC content. That's on the other platforms. So the Wii U is capable of DLC. But for some reason. Activision. Even though they stayed in on the package, add-on content, they just never release any add-on content. So if someone from Activision is watching this video, can you let me know and like all the other Wii U owners out there why you're stating add-on content when in fact you don't, you're not releasing anything? 
I mean, is this like a legal thing that can spear up for false advertisement? Because I'm no lawyer or anything, but if you're advertising add-on content for a product that has no add-on content, that to me seems like it's false advertisement. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. And if if you're a lawyer or if you know someone a lawyer, ask them that question. Is that false advertisement? I think it is, but again, I'm not a lawyer, so what do I know? But uh, rate, subscribe. Um, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button because you know I do good stuff on here. And just let me know. Leave a comment. Leave a video response. I'm actually curious about this. Like always, have a good one.